So here's the long-awaited upgrade video where I upgraded my motor to this uh, Harbor Freight. Um, it's about a 13 horsepower gasoline engine. And so this is the nearly final product. And I, and I go through here um, how I did it and how, how it's worked out and show you a couple of videos. Uh, let me uh, go to the next picture here. So here's how it started out. There's a four horsepower electric motor up here, which was always a little bit undersized for this thing, but uh, it was one that I had available and so I used. And uh, so this, this going up to 13 horsepower is a substantial upgrade. And I think that this is, is adequate, it's fine. Uh, I, I still need to not over push the speed of the bandsaw mill as I'm going along. And then here's a little spec sheet on, on the thing. It, it, it doesn't actually give the horsepower. It, it's a little harder to rate horsepower on a gasoline engine because it kind of depends upon how much gas you give it, that sort of thing, and how fast it's going. So I want to point out a couple of things here. Uh, one is that the V-belt is flopping a lot, and, and that's because I, I realized after this video that it only about a, had about half the tension on it that it needs to. I, I need to upgrade the jack bolts that are holding it because I'll set the tension and you know then make a cut, and then like the next I'll check the tension and it's maybe lost half of it. Uh, I just kind of need to firm up the jack bolts. Uh, a fair amount to keep the tension constant. Another thing about this being mostly a wooden sawmill is that I need to, when I'm done for the day, to back off the tension on everything. So back off the V-belt tension, back off the blade tension so that the wooden structure uh, isn't damaged due to sitting under tension for such a, for an extended time period. And the motor is kind of wobbling back and forth just a little bit, and so I may might need to check on my bolts there. But um, anyway, it, as far as power, it seems to have plenty of power to cutting to cut the boards. Uh, ultimately, I had to use a. C size V belt to transmit this much horsepower uh, based on the size of driving shiv I was using. And I had to upgrade the, uh, I, have, I use, was using wooden shivs, and here it is a, I, I machined this shiv, actually a lathe cut it. So here I am cutting out the V-groove wheel on the uh, bandsaw mill drive wheel. I've got a temporary A-size V-belt rigged up to it to make it go around, and then I'm cutting this groove for the C-size V-belt. And the reason I really wanted to do it on a lathe like this is because the, the wheel has about an eighth inch of a wobble in it. and so I wanted to kind of cut that wobble out of the groove by doing it on a, on a lathe like this. Here is the shiv mounted on the motor. And I had, had really had to do this backwards. Uh, normally this bushing would be facing outward. In fact, it's going to be kind of difficult for me to get these uh, bolts back out again. But the this bushing was large enough that it was hitting the the blade. Actually, the blade is was solidly resting on it, and so I, I needed to go ahead and put it on the inside, and then slid the, the whole motor back a little bit to get it all to work out. 
Here are the jack bolts underneath to adjust the tension on, on the V-belt. And you can see this one over here on the left, it's just about, in fact, uh, about a couple hours later after this, it, it, it kind of broke off the little screws that I had, drywall screws I had holding it. And so I'll need to set it up more like the one here on the right, where I've got to kind of gusset welded in place and have a much larger board that spreads the, the force out over a much larger area. And uh, so I'll end up doing something like that for this jack bolt on the other side. Basically, it's a jack bolt on both corners to keep the motor from twisting and to, the, and to apply the because I needed a couple hundred pounds of belt tension to fully utilize the uh, C size belt. Okay, and then back to the finished view of how it all looks looked after it was done.